Hey everyone, it's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you're having a great morning this morning. It's Tuesday morning. It's a coffee kind of morning. I've got my buddy Bax with me. Uh -huh. um, another contest out there. I wanted to uh, put a um, submission in. Mr. Robert Z, uh, 100 subs contest. Uh, I guess this is uh, a few times around with uh, with his channel, but uh, I've just discovered Robert's channel through Rachel, the Music Man, as I have a, done a, a dozen other channels through Rachel. Um, so congratulations, Robert, on reaching your 100 subs. Uh, Robert put a contest out there to talk about the BC. Your pet peeves, your friends, who you're friends with, who your likes and, and dislikes uh, about the BC. Um, just your general uh, view of of what's going on in the BC. So um, I'll give it a shot, as you always. I love uh, I love these contests. Uh, I just don't have enough time to do them all. <laughs> uh, Forty hours a week uh, working is for the birds, but then uh, um, to get home and to prepare all the, for the, all these contests. Luckily, um, not much preparation for this one. Thank God. Uh, it's it's all what's up, what's up here, which isn't much, but um, yeah. So the vinyl community to me has been amazing. Um, it's therapy to me, which with all this crap going on in the world and uh, living through it every day, and and especially, uh, I'm a manager at the local Home Depot and. It's that's been a, a super super struggle as far as dealing with the general public, who uh, for the most part is cooperative, but then that small minority that uh, that feel that they are above everyone else and don't want to cooperate, uh, it becomes very stressful. And uh, um, work is not the same. It, it's a different environment and. Uh, um, with the masks, with the distancing, with people tend to forget. We're fortunate in this area that it hadn't, didn't hit us that hard, but that's not to say it's 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 still not here. And um, there are some people that just I'm not even going to go into that. <laughs> this is supposed to be positive. Anyway. So the violent community has been a great um, source of therapy to me. Uh, it's a place, great place to escape. Um, I love gathering material for, for my videos. Um, I love watching other people's reactions to videos and, and their videos themselves. I've discovered a ton of music through watching other people's videos. I discovered their likes, their dislikes, and it kind of helps you put a video together. Not that you're putting a video together to please someone else, because obviously it's all based on what you want. But you're conscious of 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 you're more conscious of things as you as you put more videos out there, and uh, you want to strive to be better because some of these people on these channels are amazing and, and uh, most of them are amazing 90 99.9% .9 of them are amazing and it, it's it's awesome to to see that so you just want to strive to get better uh, a little bit about my start in the vinyl community uh, November December of last year I, I'd always loved music uh, always not always thought about doing something like this but wanted to I always love talking about music, and, and uh, people know me for uh, loving music. People at work, uh, I talk about music all the time, um, and uh, they ask me all the time about music. I'm always posting it on social media, what I'm listening to, albums that I've purchased. That's my main theme on, on, on my social medias, is, is my music collection. So I, I was watching a couple of channels, um, mainly Pete Pardo at the Sea of Tranquility. Super, super knowledgeable person. Um, 
he that's his business basically he's got well over 10,000 CDs um, he knows music inside and out um, he's got a tons of discographies of, of bands uh, he's not afraid to give us comments uh, on certain bands that he likes or dislikes but I've also discovered a ton of music through him um, because he was always talking about these bands like Budgie, like Atomic Rooster, and uh, early Jethro Tull, and um, stuff that, uh, that, huh? I never heard of these bands before. But then it encouraged me to get this music, and I haven't regretted one second of it. Um, such an amazing group of, of, uh, of bands that I've discovered just from his channel alone. Uh, another one is um, is uh, Richard McCook. Um, he, his taste in music is uh, so unique. Uh, a lot of 80s um, music and um, Echo and the Bunny Man is one example. Uh, wouldn't have discovered them without his uh, with, with watching his channel, so it's kind of cool. So I, I just uh, I put a channel together. I was also watching a lot of reaction videos, um, basically hip hop guys and gals um, reacting to rock music. Uh, discovered another channel, uh, Larry Graves, uh, the Canadian stuff mu stud muffin, which is just about 20 minutes. Uh, he lives about 20 minutes west of here. Uh, he's been doing this about 13 or 15 years. He's got uh, well over 13,000 subscribers. And um, kind of a quirky, funny guy. And uh, I'm surprised I haven't run into him because he shops uh, here in my city as well. And, um, and uh, I figured man if, if he can do something like that I can do something like that so I bought a camera um, my first video <laughs> uh, I didn't have any editing software I didn't realize you know transferring from one file to another and uh, the sound was like a, a foreign movie uh, to my to my voice <laughs> it was off quite a bit um, and uh, but I just left it. It was one of my favorite bands, of course, Deep Purple. But um, every video since then, I've learned and grown, hopefully. And I'm still making mistakes, still learning. Um, and uh, but that's it's it's something that you've I've done on my own, and uh, um, I'm bound to make mistakes. But. Um, as I've grown as well, uh, I've met all kinds of wonderful people through this channel. So just to name a few, uh, Mr. Glenn Calloway, the Lil Wynn Music Freak, again, uh, same city as Larry Graves, um, Trenton, Ontario, which is uh, again about 20 minutes from now. Uh, we're going to uh, eventually meet up um, and uh, grab a coffee and talk about our passion music. Um, his channel and mine are, are fairly similar. Um, he's got a few uh, different styles of music that he that he likes, and that's cool. And uh, I've got a few styles of music that uh, um, he's not familiar with or or into, but that's cool as well because every everyone should have um, different likes and, and and dislikes. If everyone liked the same thing, it'd be boring. But uh, we have our sim the similar passion in, in music, and our channels are pretty similar um, in the, the length of time with that we've been around. And he puts on a great show, um, uh, and I, I love the guy. He's, he's, he's just his personality, everything about him is, is great. Uh, Rachel, the music man, Rachel, you've been so supportive. Um, your comments have been there. You've been there for me. You've been you've been encouraging. Uh, you've helped me discover all kinds of cool channels and uh, 
thank you thank you so much I can't say enough about Rachel I've already mentioned Pete Pardo at Sea of Tranquility uh, Chris blues vinyl guy uh, Chris your knowledge of blues and jazz um, is outstanding uh, you're encouraging me to delve into that uh, uh, that genre um, so thank you excuse me <clears throat> and um, who else am I? I don't want to miss anyone um, of course the beautiful Christina uh, the vinyl guru um, she is just remarkable and beautiful and um, so knowledgeable and uh, so unique as well um, she is uh, just an amazing person and um, Chris, um, musically assessed. Uh, Chris, you're amazing. Uh, your love of, uh, of music is outstanding. You've just got this cool, smooth personality, uh, which is unique. And that's the thing. We're all Richard McCook, of course, I already mentioned. Uh, Rob Walker in Birmingham, I believe it is. Uh, another great guy. These 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 guys over in the UK have access to so much music that we don't hear and that's uh, um, I'm almost jealous of that stuff <laughs> but they've helped me discover all these cool bands and that's the thing I mean we're all over the place um, of course I'm in Canada um, Lynn and Larry in Canada Rachel's in Canada uh, Chris Blue Vinyl Guy in Canada um, Chris musically obsessed uh, in New York State I believe um, Richard McCook um, in the UK Rob Walker in the UK we're all over the place but uh, we're local as far as our music loves and uh, that's pretty cool uh, and we're not judging each other. I don't find any negativity at all on the vinyl community. I haven't discovered it, and maybe it's because I haven't been around so long. But I don't dis I don't encourage it either. Uh, I don't swear in my channel. I, I vow not to swear in my channel. Uh, I vow to keep it positive, um, and uh, I try to respond to all the comments out there. And um, so far, they've been positive as well. And um, I don't have any pet peeves. I have more pet peeves with uh, with YouTube and uh, their um, their video um, when they put a uh, certain certain music that you can't play because of copyright. So you have, you're very conscious of that, even though you own the music. <laughs> You know, it could be a beat-up copy of something, and you're and you're you're playing it, and uh, boom, you get a copyright strike, even if it's the first ten seconds of it. So my pet peeve is more with YouTube itself than it is with the vinyl community. I don't have any pet peeves at all. Uh, I find everyone's channel is positive. Uh, I enjoy watching everyone. Another channel that I that I forgot to mention is um, uh, DJ Trish. She's a cool lady. Um, and uh, she does a lot of uh, compilation videos. She she makes um, CDs, and uh, she shares those with everyone and anyone. Um, she's on the Jersey Shore, and and some of the scenery that she shows is just gorgeous and just beautiful. So uh, all around, the vinyl community has been amazing. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but Glenn Calloway and I are are planning on meeting sometime soon, um, grabbing a coffee, if we can find a safe place to sit and have a coffee, and uh, talk about music, talk about our channel, um, just talk about stuff in general because uh, he's a cool guy, and um, I li wish I could meet everyone. I wish I could. I wish there was a uh, a conference. <laughs> of something like that that you could just go and and, uh, and meet everyone and um, it'd be so cool to do that um, 
but that's it. Uh, as I said, everyone's been great. Everyone's been positive. Um, it's been a, it's been a great experience, and uh, I want to strive for better. I want this channel to grow. Uh, I just want to continue to do what I'm doing. Um, if uh, I'd love to hear um, comments of what I would perhaps could do better. Um, I think I'm doing the right thing, but. Uh, um, and so far, everyone's been saying that, so uh, I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing. I love music. I love passion. Uh, when I buy um, music, I buy for what I like. I don't buy for thinking, oh, that'd be cool to show. Um, so my musical style changes regularly, but it's, it's still within that realm of 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. But um, I really want to delve into further music. I want to get into more blues, want to get into more jazz. Um, soundtracks is another big thing that uh, I think I'm going to pursue as well. So as far as the vinyl community, you guys are amazing. Uh, Robert, I've only discovered your channel, but uh, congratulations. Uh, I want to watch more of your videos. You seem to be a straight shooting kind of guy. Uh, tell it like it is kind of guy, which there's nothing wrong with that. We need more of that in the world. Um, one thing I don't like is uh, is fake, and I haven't met that on here yet. Um, and the channels that I follow, uh, I don't discover that. But uh, that's one pet peeve of the world is fake. Uh, I don't like fake people. I like people the way they are and uh, for who they are. So thank you, Robert, for being who you are. Uh, Glenn, of course, Rachel, Pete Pardo, uh, Chris, Blues Vinyl Guy, DJ Tris, uh, Larry, uh, Canadian Stud Muffin, uh, Christina, beautiful Christina, the Vinyl Guru, and, and tons and tons and tons. Of, uh, Pete, CD Vinyl World, uh, don't know you all that well, just through your channel, but you seem like a great guy. Um, Richard McCook, Rob Walker, if I'm missing anyone, which I'm missing a ton, uh, Chris, Musically Obsessed, of course, um, but I'm missing so many people, I know that, but um, thank you, thank you to everyone. Uh, congratulations, Robert, good luck to everyone in the contest, and have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. Bye now.